वेलकम माय नेम इज तलहा एंड वी हैव सीन जेंगो वेब जी यूनिकॉम डॉकर कंटेनर फॉर जेंगो इंजन एक्स डॉकर कंटेनर फॉर इंजन एक्स एंड डॉकर कंपोज टू कंबाइन जेंगो एंड इंजन एक्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू व्हाई वी नीड इंजन एक्स एंड व्हाई वी नीड जी यूनिकॉम एंड व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ यूजिंग डॉकर एंड डॉकर कंपोज नाउ वी हैव टू कनेक्ट ए डब्ल्यू एस पोस्ट क्रेस विद द Django and instead of using SQLite, we will use AWS RDS Postgres. So first thing, I will go to the Visual Studio Code, and I am going to delete the migration because for the new database, I am going to use new migration and doing everything again. So I am going to delete the migration. You are not supposed to delete this init pipe file, pipe file. Otherwise, you are may get some serious sort of errors so the next thing i will also delete this db.sqlite because i am going to use postgres now i will go to this database and i will also modify this instead of sqlite i will use postgres instead of name let keep it blank for a while and we will add some other parameter user password host and port now we need to create this thing so i will go to the aws management console here we are going to search rds and in rds we are going to create postgres i will click, click on create database then i will do postgres selected from here template should be free tier uh, you can keep this as database one postgres you can change the username if you want or you can keep the same so i am going to copy the username and i am going to paste it in, in my environment variable user the next thing is the password i am going to write my password here this is my password for the postgres and then i will go to this uh, choose existing and then i will go to this vpc security group and i will click create new i will name this as sg security group for db and then i will do additional click on additional configuration here from here i can see the port i will copy this port and i can paste it here and then i will go to additional configuration here i can define my database name i can say it as um, my user or you can name it as anything you want and this is the name of my database and in environment variable i can write data variable and name it as my user then as i am just showing you a tutorial so i don't need backup i don't need encryption actually you can keep it as it should be encrypted but okay let enable it and i'm not i'm going to turn off the performance inside then i will click on create database let me see if we miss anything and everything is perfect okay one thing uh the public access should be yes if you set it to no you can't connect it on the local host if you set it yes then you can connect it on the local host then you can click on create database it will take some time to create the database and for that i am going to pause the video recording and will back when this database has been created
Okay, our database has been created. Now click on the database. Select this endpoint. This is the host of for the for us. So I am going to put it uh, here. Now I will do config name. Okay, the next thing I will do is to install a library called Psychop G2. I have already installed it, but let me show you. You can, you have to, sorry. Actually, you have to install the Psychop G2 binary library instead of Psychop G2. Actually, I do this mistake every time and it gives me an error, then I go to install Psychop G2 binary. Okay, you see that this is requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it. So next thing you will copy this library and you are going to paste in the requirements for txt. Now I am going to run my server. Okay, something is missing. User is missing. Okay, let's see that. User equal to Postgres. Now run this again. As our database is on AWS, and our website is on localhost so it will take some time to connect or it you will see this is slow as compared to using sql log but when we hosted our website on aws then you are, aren't able to find the difference let's see if we can run it okay we can't run it it's still loading or there may be some issue that our server is unable to connect but let's see what is the issue and for that we have to wait after a long time waiting for an eternity it's still unable to connect the reason is that our port number is 5431 and we have put it as 5432 so i have changed it to 5431 and let's connect it again and see if this time we are able to connect okay this time we are we are able to connect it i have checked this port from this uh, here that this is 5431 you can simply go to the database, select the database, click on modify and you can see your settings and what are the settings you have used. Uh, it's also taking a lot of time to connect. Anyway, uh, one thing that I have shown you earlier, you can also change it here that uh, where the option has went. Okay, that it should be publicly accessible and otherwise it wouldn't connect okay we can connect here and now i can go to the and see that it's working now let's disconnect it disconnect the server run the migration create the user Okay, it should be basically migration, not the make migration. But anyway, we have done the migration before migrate. Manage dot migrate. This will take a couple of time because we have deleted our migrations before and our database that is SQLite database.
okay our migration has been completed next time we have to create a super user python manage.py create super user password is talha password again talha why okay our super user has been created let's click on clear and now let's run the server again okay you see that the warning has gone and now go to the server again click on admin click on as our database is on aws and our website is on local that's why it takes some time to fetch the information so it's been connected the next thing i have to do is to check whether on docker compose it's running or not but before that let's remove all the previous volume and images system now go our directory back and run it docker compose dash dash docker compose up dash dash build it will take some time and i am going to pause the video for that time okay our docker compose build has been completed now i will go to the website and i will show you that it's running but there is one issue that if i am going to put anything into the data it gives me csr of token error and with a bit of google i found that if we are choosing django 4 we got this error so we need to add this csr of trusted origins and then our domain actually currently we are not using https we are on http so simply i'm going to do is that I am just going to deploy it and see if using HTTPS domain whether our error has been fixed or not because I believe in Django 4 they demand you to have what you call as HTTPS. So let's see if the error been fixed or not or we will find a way to fix this issue. So this is the end of this section in which we are going to deal with what you called as Postgres. Thank you.